Hey guys, so I decided I'm going to do a tutorial for some sparks inside of Particular, um, and you can see it right now, just, I don't know why, but I decided to have two metal balls smashing together to produce a spark, and that's just, that's just the vehicle for me showing you the spark effect, but I'm going to show you how to do it now, and let's get started. So I'm just going to delete everything that's not part of the element setup so I can just use that as a reference so we can start again okay so you want to do layer new solid and we'll just call that particular and then we'll obviously add particular effect to it the first things we're gonna do we'll just locate the frame where we want the particles to come up so obviously we don't want them to come up there it's going to be right there. So either side of that, we're going to change the emitter to zero. Set a keyframe. And then move another frame. Oops. And then move another frame. That's alt arrow key to move the keyframes. And command arrow key to move the, uh, I guess, cursor thing. So we'll set another keyframe for... So between them is where we want the emitter to shoot out a big quick burst of particles and I'm going to do something around 350 because it's only going to be for one frame and that's a good, I think that's a good amount okay um, so I'm just going to copy the position of the group null paste down to the position oh, I might have to do it by hand Then we'll just move that down into the center. Okay, that's perfect. So now we have this. And that looks great. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the particles emitted. We've got around 340 particles per second, which obviously divided by, I think, 25. because so I've got 25 frame comp, and it's only happening for one frame, so... Yeah, you can do the math and figure out if that's right. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the velocity to around a thousand. So they really shoot out really fast. But obviously they go a lot further than we need them to. But we'll sort that out later. And we're going to close down the emitter. And we're going to go into the physics. Air. And then I think we should do the wind Y, which is how we're going to make the particles float a little bit upwards. We're going to we're going to do that minus 50 probably. So now wh when they come out, you're probably not going to see it. They're going to they're going to want to go upwards a little bit, like they're being like you know because embers and sparks and stuff start to float up. And then I like to just give it a bit of give it a bit of a direction. So I'm going to say wind x speed which is going to send it flying towards the left we'll do minus 100 that could also change soon so they're gonna they're gonna want to fly up and to the left corner a little bit um but obviously they're going out way too fast at the moment so we need to change the air resistance which is right here and we'll change that to something around five that basically means after a little bit it's going to stop the particles from moving so the the velocity is going to shoot them out and then they're going to hit a, hit a wall basically and then just flow so there we go that could even be stronger maybe we'll do that to six okay then what we want to do is we want to add a turbulence field so scroll down a little bit go to turbulence turbulence field and we're not going to increase the effect size because that looks a bit dodgy. We're going to do the position. So I think we're going to do that to around 40-ish. That just basically means as the particles are, are moving through the air, they're going to wib wobble around as if there's, uh, you know, as if there's turbulence. So they have this random sort of movement as they float away. And then we want to increase the scale of that to 20, let's say. Then we want to do the spin frequency is where is it? Well, I'm a being 
blind. Here it is. So I think I increase that to around five as well. So that's. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know what that actually does. I imagine it makes them spin more frequently. Um, but it always looks better once I've done that because it gives them a bit more of a random sort of movement. Um, so then we also, we, I think we should go back up to the emitter and we'll do, we'll do the velocity random up to 50% to give them, because we really don't want the, they don't want to look uniform at all. So now let's do the particle life. So sort the particle out. Obviously starts with life, so I'll do 0.8 because you want them to die quite quickly. Now they're going to uh, just, yeah, pop off like that. So we'll change the life random to around 50% or so. so. That means they're just all going to start dying off at different times. I think we should leave the feather as it is. We'll change the size down to around 3. Again, it might change once we get to, once we start seeing how it looks. This is just, this is just to get a feel for, what, for where we're heading towards, look-wise. Um, do size random again to make them look a little bit different. Let's do 25. Okie dokie. And the size over life. Where are we? I like to do a very quick, a, a very large burst for when the particles first come out because then you get like a real, almost like a, almost like a muzzle flash for when the spark hits just, just for a very split second. So let's do that. I really want it to be very quick. A very quick burst on. So it's like just for the very split second, they're going to be big enough. And then they turn small as the, as the, as the go further from that, from that one frame, they want to be smaller again. So that's good. Yeah. And obviously once we add on motion blur for this, it gives that really cool sparky effect and then they turn into the actual embers. But I'm going to turn that off for now. So, what else do we want to do? Just wiggle that down. We will do the opacity over the opacity random to about twenty percent. Just again, to give it some variance in how the how each individual particle looks. We're going to set the color to over life, and then we'll choose. Wiggle that down, we'll choose this gradient, this one gradient, bring us all the way here. We want this one to the we want this second one to be a, a dark orange. Not too brown, but not too bright either, that's good. And then this one we want it to be a very yellowy orange. That's something like that's good, maybe a little bit lighter than that. So it's so it's very bright at the beginning, and then they turn darker as they go. I think they even need to be bigger to be honest. Let's increase this size to six. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, they die pretty quick. Let's increase the life up to one. It's not much but might make the difference. They're really too small. Alright, okay. I'm gonna sort the size over life out. <laughs> um That might be better. That looks a little bit better, but there might even be too many of them. Let's also go up and we'll go to the emitter. And we'll go to this middle keyframe here and let's change it to 300. Yeah, but I also think that the uh, I don't like the, the uniform way it shoots outwards, so I'm gonna say disc. I think disc's a good one for this. Okay, so you want to change the x uh, the x rotation to 90, and that sort of shoots it outwards from that point. So we want to put that as an add mode. Add. Okay, let's add it to an add mode, and that should look pretty good. I'm gonna put on the motion blur. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
that does look pretty cool. And then what, what you can either do is you can either add, I think I might move those keyframes along a bit because it looks like they connect and then the stuff that should happen there. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. What you can also do is you can add a light to actually light up for a very split second right in between the balls. And so I'm going to change the position of this to zero and Z space. Um, now the lights on zero intensity at the moment. And that's we want it to be zero until the sparks come on. So T to get the intensity keyframe. Then we're going to go there and let's change. So the next frame where the actual particles come on, we're going to do it to 100 intensity maybe. That might be too much, we'll find out. Then we'll just go a few a few frames and put it back to zero. And let's see how that looks. And it's not lining anything up. Let's get rid of that particular so you can look at it. Maybe I need to bring the particles towards the camera by a little bit. Okay, that might look better. And then make the light more of an orangey color. So layer light settings. Make it a bit more orangey. And then we can have the light make that easy as keyframe so the light fades off as the particles are done with. So that looks. looks pretty good I think I want to make the uh, velocity probably a little bit less in the particular layer particular in the particular layer um, so I'm going to change that velocity down to 850 see how that looks that's just going to shoot them out less so they're not going to fly out as far before they lose their velocity that looks pretty good yeah, I'm happy with that. And then obviously in the in the version I had before, I actually I duplicated the particular layer. And I'm just going to turn this one off. And solo that one for a little bit. And what I did was I took the particle. I just give it a random decrease in size over life. I took the color and you, uh, you changed it from like a gray to a lighter gray. That might, something like that. Um, I increased the size. I changed the particle into a cloud layer, which makes it look more like a cloud. And I increased the feather of that. And I increased the opacity. I decreased the opacity to about 50 or something. I opacity random. I put all the way up, like all the way up like that. I think I actually. I think I had it die a lot quicker. Um, and it and it had that opacity over life also. I think the particle needs to be a little smaller than that. And I also really decreased the velocity in this clouds. So it's just this just adds a nice little like you'd want it to be really subtle to be honest in any way. But um I got confused and I forgot where our velocity was. So you want it to just you want it to just pop out and then die with the rest of the effect, so that looks Okay, I could probably reduce the uh, opacity a bit of that, and I'd obviously put it behind the particular effect, and I didn't even have the particular, um, the actual embers on, so I could definitely make it a little bit. Uh, oh, I also would, wouldn't want it to be add. I'd probably put it on screen mode because that makes it less bright, and I think I will decrease the opacity of the part of the particles. 
maybe even 25%. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's all right. And I think I'd actually probably have it die a lot quicker. Um, so I'm going to change the life to 0.6. I'm going to make it die out with the opacity a bit sooner or a little bit more drastic. And also <laughs> make it get a little bit smaller. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Make it get smaller quicker. So size over life. Let me just get a little bit smaller. And that is how I did the effect. And hopefully it sparks some imagination <laughs> and um, some stuff you can do. So it can, I mean, I use it all the time in like motion graphics stuff because a lot of people want that sort of cool, like metal, heavy machinery type stuff. So, and obviously there's tons of effects you could do, you could do in, in you know, like my normal stuff, like the superhero things there's there's so much stuff you could do like that so you know take this idea and make it your own and go and do something cool with it and yeah so thank you very much for watching i hope you've learned something from it i i'm really trying to get into doing some tutorials so if you have any ideas of how i could make this tutorial more clear or bet like just in general better because you know i'm not that great um let me know what i do wrong and i'll try and not do that or what I need to do to be better. Yeah, so that would be great. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And yeah, okay, goodbye. <laughs>